In this lesson, we're going to create our first Java program. Launch the NetBeans IDE, then click on the box with the plus sign that has little help text that says New Project. Ensure that you have selected Java and Java Application, and then hit Next. We'll think of a name for our project. Good software engineering always has good names for things. Of course, our application is going to be very simple, so we'll just call it Hello World. We also need to come up with a name for the class that we're going to create. The class name is actually in two parts. The first part is called the package name, and the second part is actually the class name. You'll see these again inside the program in just a moment. Since we chose a project name of Hello World, it has given both the package and the class the same name, and that's fine for this because it's fairly meaningful for what we're going to do. Hit Finish. NetBeans builds the project directory, creates a folder for source packages within it, and then creates the package hello world with the hello world.java source file within it. In the editor window, which it also opens up at the same time, it brings up this hello world.java program source file for editing. You'll notice the very first statement says package hello world. Packages in Java are a kind of namespace. They allow us to give short names to our classes, like Hello World, and not have to ask every other developer we ever work with whether we are treading on their toes and reusing a name that they might have used. As long as our package names are different, it won't matter. The package statement should be the first thing that occurs, other than comments, like these, inside our source file. The next thing is that we have this line that says public class hello world and ends with a curly brace. Curly braces show up all over the place in Java, just like a lot of other languages that came before it. Inside the class, we have this method declaration. If you'd like to think of a method as a kind of function or procedure, that's fine. Object-oriented languages use the term method, and there's a slight difference between a method and functions and procedures that you might have seen before. In this case, the method is labeled public static void main, and in the argument list, we have string array args. This is all by convention. It must be a public method. It has to be static. The return type, that is to say the type of data returned by the method, is always void. That really means it doesn't return any data. The name of the method must be main. Everything, by the way, in Java is case sensitive, so this must all be lower case. The arguments to the main method are an array, that's what the square brackets are for, of string, string being sequences of text characters. The only thing about this that can be changed is the fact that these are called args. That's a long standing convention, and there's really no reason to change it, but you could call it something else if you wanted. Then the body of the code that defines this method goes between the curly braces. Let's remove the comment line. The two forward slashes you see here are another form of comment delimiter. These ones say that from this point to the end of the line is a comment. These guys present multiple line comments. So we'll select the comment because we're going to delete it, and then we will say very simply system dot out dot print ln and then we'll put parentheses on and then quotes and inside the quotes we will say hello world and then at the very end of the line we need a semicolon this system dot out dot print ln is a little bit complicated and we're not going to explain that fully right now as you can probably guess what it does is to print its arguments out onto the console and at the end of printing that argument, it will put a new line character. So in our case, we have the long-standing traditional message, hello world, which of course is usually everybody's first program in a language that has curly braces in it like this. We can save the file with the icon up here in the top left corner. Click on that. And then we can run it using the green arrow key here. Notice it says run main project. When we run it, we get an output console window down here, and we see that it says hello world, which is the output we asked for, and then it finally says build successful. So there we go, our very first Java program, and a little bit of explanation as to what the various pieces mean.